Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeremiah back again with another video and today I got the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. What I want to do is even though they're both running the A11 Bionic chip, I want to see if the higher screen resolution in the iPhone 10, you know, slows it down any and I just let's just do a little comparison to see how fast these are compared to each other on app opening times. Now, yes, I don't want you to weave a lot into it, like a video to make a purchase decision. Do not, do not let this be the outcome because it's two completely different experiences. I've been using both of these devices and I'm gonna do a comparison. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. And uh, if you like what you see here today, give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, I'm gonna make sure nothing's open in the background. They both have my Apple ID. They're both set up the exact same as you're gonna see on the home screen. They're, they're both, uh, backed up from an iCloud backup on both of them. So let's just get into it. And we got this dude and we got this dude. And I'm going to show you, they both have the same Bluetooth on. They both have, everything is exactly the same on these. Every setting, everything is exactly the same. Same Wi-Fi network, same everything. I'm going to pick this one up a little bit. Try to get that glare off of there for you. Yeah, sorry, I guess my lighting's a little a little on there. But anyways, so I'm gonna, as you can see, there's no apps open. There's no apps open. And we are just gonna go to a couple of different games, a couple of different things, and see which one opens up faster. I'm gonna try to catch the winner. You guys will be able to pause it and stop it and look at it a little bit better than I can through, you know, looking through the, the viewfinder on the video. This is a uh, Boom Beach. One, two, three. Do Mario run? One, two, three. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, iPhone 10 was just a tad ahead. And I am going to leave all this stuff running in the background. Yeah, uh, this is Texas Hold'em. One, two, three. I didn't catch that one, so you guys. You guys will have to be the judge of that one. I've got hill climb racing. Oh. Turn that down a little bit. Sorry about that. In slither IO. Let's see. That looked pretty close to me. So let's open up YouTube. One, two, three. Couldn't really tell, looked pretty close to the same. Oh, yeah. And that's the channel you guys need to subscribe to if you like this video. Tech Junkies. My iPhone 10 full review is coming up. So let's do a couple, uh, let's do a couple other apps. Let's do the App Store. One, two, three. And I'm trying to get enough st stuff open in the background so we can see how the, the RAM management is after uh, we get some of these opened up and I'm gonna try to get it completely full. Music, one, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty, I feel like they're really close or really on point. If, if you guys are seeing anything different, let me know in the comments. One, two, three. Yeah, they're pretty dead on. Let me do, let's open up Amazon. One, two, three. Yeah, that definitely looked a little faster on the 10. Um, let's do eBay. One, two, three. Walmart.com. One, two, three. And it, eh, kind of too close to even be able to tell, I feel. Um, let's see GameStop. One, two, three. <laughs> Pretty much dead on which this is i'm not really surprised at all this is really what i was expecting i mean this this has the same chipset in, in both phones they're running ios 11.1.1 but i also wanted to do this for you guys because i know a lot of people like these sets but like i said before don't don't make your purchase decision on 
and it doesn't matter what speed test you're, you're watching. If you're watching a uh, phone buff or any, uh, or, you know, any of them, I, I like watching their speed test. I find it's very entertaining, but I don't really, it's, it's not how you use your phone. Whenever you sit down to use your phone, you don't just sit here and see how many apps you can open and how fast you can do it and, and stuff like that. So it's not a real world usage because it's, I mean, you're just never going to sit here and just go through that many apps. I mean, it's just, it's just not going to happen. Do the Apple watch app. One, two, three. And yeah, it's not paired on this one. So I guess that is one difference that you could say is I do have my Apple Watch paired to this, but on this is my Apple Watch is paired to the 10 right now and not the 8 Plus. So let's see, the UPS app, one, two, three. A little bit faster on the iPhone 8 Plus it looked like. Now let's go back in RAM management. And let's go back to the very first app that we opened, which was Boom Beach. And let's see how many of them, which this one really isn't a good one because I think it reloads every time. Like if I go out of the app, it automatically just reloads. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Which I was completely expecting that. This this probably doesn't have anything to do with the RAM management. Ready to run. And we got Texas Hold'em. This is Hill Climb Racing. Let's see if both of these are still open. Let's go to the next one. Oh, okay. And the iPhone 8 Plus had to actually reload that. The App Store. Let's see the music library. The weather. That one app, the iPhone 8 Plus, had to reload, so let's see this one. Yeah, they all look pretty much to be the same, so like I said, there might be a couple of apps that one opens faster than the other, but you're not going to be able to tell real-world usage either way because, like I said, it's it's minute. It's, it's within a couple of milliseconds to a second or two, and pretty much any phone on the market is going to be pretty close to that, but... So, um... Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm probably going to be doing a live stream tomorrow. Um, I like doing my first live stream. And I like to be able to interact with you guys and answer questions and, you know, more than what I can really do in a video. But uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe. Like always, peace.